This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is Becker muscular dystrophy? Answer, Becker muscular dystrophy is an X-linked recessive disorder typically caused by non-frameshift deletions in the dystrophin gene, which results in a partially functional dystrophin protein instead of a truncated one. Question, how does Becker muscular dystrophy compare to Duchenne muscular dystrophy? Answer, Becker muscular dystrophy is less severe than Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Question, when does Becker muscular dystrophy typically onset? Answer, Becker muscular dystrophy typically onset in adolescence or early adulthood. Question, can deletions in the dystrophin gene cause both the Chen and Becker muscular dystrophies? Answer, yes, deletions in the dystrophin gene can cause both the Chen and Becker muscular dystrophies. Question, what percentage of cases of Becker muscular dystrophy have large deletions spanning one or more exons? Answer, two-third of cases of Becker muscular dystrophy have large deletions spanning one or more exons. Question, what are some common symptoms of Becker muscular dystrophy? dystrophy? Answer, common symptoms of Becker muscular dystrophy include muscle weakness, muscle wasting, and difficulty with fine motor skills. Question, how is Becker muscular dystrophy diagnosed? Answer, Becker muscular dystrophy is typically diagnosed through genetic testing, which can detect mutations in the dystrophin gene. Question, is there a cure for Becker muscular dystrophy? Answer, currently, there is no cure for Becker muscular dystrophy. Treatment options include physical therapy, occupational therapy, and assistive devices to help manage symptoms and improve quality of life. Question, are there any potential therapies or treatments for Becker muscular dystrophy in development? Answer, yes, there are several potential therapies and treatments for Becker muscular dystrophy currently in development, including gene therapy and exon skipping. Question, is Becker muscular dystrophy a common disorder? Answer, Becker muscular dystrophy is not as common as the Chen muscular dystrophy, but it still affects a significant number of individuals worldwide. Question, are there any lifestyle changes that can help manage symptoms of Becker muscular dystrophy? Answer, yes, there are several lifestyle changes that can help manage symptoms of Becker muscular dystrophy, such as regular exercise, maintaining a healthy diet, and avoiding activities that can cause injury to the muscles. Question, is Becker muscular dystrophy more prevalent in males or females? Answer, Becker muscular dystrophy is caused by mutations in the dystrophin gene which is located on the X chromosome. Therefore, Becker muscular dystrophy is more prevalent in males. Question, can Becker muscular dystrophy progress to the point where the person is unable to walk? Answer, Becker muscular dystrophy is less severe than Duchenne Chen muscular dystrophy, but in some cases, it can progress to the point where the person is unable to walk. Question, is there a life expectancy difference between a person with Becker muscular dystrophy and a person without it? Answer, the life expectancy of a person with Becker muscular dystrophy is typically normal, but it can vary depending on the severity of the disease and how well the symptoms are managed. Question, can Becker muscular dystrophy be preventable? Answer, Becker muscular dystrophy is a genetic disorder and cannot be prevented. However, early diagnosis and treatment can help manage symptoms and improve quality of life. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.